All right, friends, what's up? So, um, I'm really tired. I just worked out a lot, and uh, I kind of want to just go recover. I kind of want to just go sit in the sauna and shower, but it is no carb, no coffee, no coffee, no carb, whatever. No something, no something, make Homer go crazy. November, and uh, so one of the things I said I was gonna do was I was going to get back to doing semi-daily content because people seem to like that, so um, yeah, let's go. Uh, so that's what I got today. Um, and I told myself that I had to at least shoot a video or I could not recover and that would suck because I would have to go home and reek and not get to go to the sauna and not get to do all the good things I tell you guys all to do, which is freaking recover. So you can train and not be all beat up the next day, right? So, um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's talk. So today, uh, Let's see, I, I want to talk about this thing that uh, I've heard a lot of people, well, I've heard a couple people say, and not a lot of people do, that I think is actually really cool because it kind of got me, um, kind of got me really inspired when a certain person did it, you know, the first time, a couple years ago, I think I've mentioned it, um, I can revisit that story if anybody wants, but we'll, yeah, we'll save that for another time, right, right now, and that's uh, posting your failures, so... I, uh, uh, I was in Philadelphia, this, and this is a little thing, but uh, I figured, hey, why not? Let's be honest. It's no coffee, no carb, November. And I was in Philadelphia for work Tuesday. And so, of course, it's like, you know, I, I was with two guys who used to live there, and they're like, yeah, let's go to 20 Luke's and get cheesesteaks. And I was like, well, it's no coffee, no carb, November, but yeah, it's 20 Luke's, let's go get cheesesteaks. So, uh, so we did, and it was delicious. And I should feel really awful about it, but I don't because it was delicious. And, um, and I kind of posted about it, you know, or I kind of planned for it. I didn't post about it. I'm posting about it now, but I kind of planned for it. And, um, you know, the thing is, uh, I, I, you know, I'm not going to go all extreme ownership, you know, I mean, you know, no, all respect to Jocko Willink and extreme ownership is a great book. I've read it a couple of times and I definitely recommend it. Although I, 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 I got, I got to put it out to you folks. You know, it, it seems to me like the, uh, the, the net effect of extreme ownership so far as to be all these, like, you know, these groups that are you know, espousing pseudo-military values are now sending emails out where people are self-flagellating because they forgot to put a detail in a note. It's like, dude, extreme ownership just, just means own it and move on, okay? You don't have to, like, beat yourself in the public square because you didn't do something. Uh, it's, it's funny, oh my, okay, all right, this is going totally off the rails, but I, I was thinking, I was thinking about this other thing that's kind of, that's kind of related. Uh, you know, I was, I was walking through uh, Boulder a little while ago, and it was pretty cold, and it started snowing, and I was off for a run. And I was wearing shorts and a, and a t-shirt and nothing else. And I thought, you know, I'm really glad I did Wim Hof workshops and Wim Hof method for the last four or five years. And it, it kind of struck me as like, you know, I see all these people who do Wim Hof method, but then, but it seems like it's just kind of a thing. It's like, it's an opportunity for a selfie in, in, in the ice bath, but then it, you know, gets down to 50 and they're all bundled up. It's like, well, did you not actually get the point of the workshop that there's a skill, a, a life skill you're supposed to learn and integrate and actually practice? It's kind of like here in Seattle, right? As soon as first snow, I guarantee you, everybody in the Seattle fitosphere is going to post a, a something on Instagram, a video of them, you know, working out or meditating or being mindful in the snow, and then they're going to like run back inside and bundle up, and, and it's like, you guys, did, is that just for show? Is that just show everybody like what a woke fitness pro you are? Okay, anyway. All right, so there's really no path back to what I was supposed to talk about, so we're just going to violently smash cut back to the original topic, which was uh, which was posting failures and and me eating a cheesesteak during no carb, no coffee, no coffee, no carb November. And here's the thing, I, you know, I plan for that. I'm actually, you know, some of you guys know I'm actually in the middle of a pretty intense fast right now. And one of the things that bothers me about that is that people, people, people will tell you that, well, that's bulimic behavior. I, I could see how it might be if you had a tendency toward that sort of thing, or if you had an eating problem or some kind of a dysmorphia problem, but for me, and that's what this is all about. This is all for me. I'm not telling any of you guys to do this. It's not a big deal. You know, I, I calculated my calories for, for the week. I you know, made a decision about it and, you know, ate and enjoyed it. And now I'm fasting and I'm going to fast probably till tomorrow night. And just for fun, you know, I've been on a, about a, what time is it? It's, it's what, five, six o'clock. So I've been on about a 27, 28 hour dry fast just, just for the heck of it which I'm gonna go break because I am gonna go shower because I don't wanna go home and sleep in my own filth. <clears throat> but I, I guess I guess my point is, um, you know, be really careful about, 
well, I don't, I don't even want to say that. I was, I was going to be really careful about being shamey, but you know what? We all do it anyway. So I, I guess my point is, 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 you know, I don't know what my point is, man. I, I think my point is like, this is a thing I did and I planned for it. And it's, and it, it kind of annoys me that people, that some people would say, Hey, it's bulimic behavior, you know, planning your calories and planning your fasting. And, and like I said, I see how it could be, but I, I, I guess the, uh, the, the, the overarching the 50,000 foot is is you know consider the context so they, you know, like like uh, like the good dr. John Russin says man consider the n equals one in front of you what, what is this person's condition if the, if the n is and if the n equals one is you can, can you handle it does it work for you if it works for you great then it's a thing right I mean like I said it, it worked for me I felt a little kind of wrecked this morning I won't lie you know and because uh I didn't sleep super well last night because I worked out probably a little harder than I should have, and you know I didn't have my uh, my, my, my tracker turned on. But I'm I'm afraid of what it's going to tell me, and this is another thing I'm going to talk about at some point because you guys know I'm a huge nerd of all things data being one of them. So I'm I'm a little worried that I'm going to become a slave to my Morpheus, but um, I'm going to try really hard not to. But I, I, I don't see that happening. I think it's one of those things I'm going to have to learn how to exist with peacefully and, and not let it you know consume my every waking training moment. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So um, anyway, that's that's what I got for today. You know, that cheesesteak was delicious. I don't regret it. I, I I am sort of regretting this dry fast right now, and I may actually drink some salt when I get home because I'm feeling kind of wrecked, and I have a bunch of customer meetings tomorrow, which I don't know who schedules customer meetings on Friday, but. So I can't come in on Friday and just hide behind projects. I have to be in front of people, which means I'm going to have to manage things a little more carefully, but that's all right. And you guys should do that too. So, um, yeah, I don't have a graceful way to finish this. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut it off, call it out, go recover. And, uh, yeah, see you guys Tuesday, or actually I guess I'll see you guys Saturday because I'm going to do an, a live AMA this time. I'm gonna live stream the uh, the week one, the no car, no coffee, no car, November week one AMA is gonna be live streamed Saturday, 7 p.m. PST. Probably on Instagram, probably on my Facebook, and of course it'll be on the tubes of you afterwards. So you still have a chance to send me questions. So you can post them in the comments if you want. You can DM me. You can IG me. Whatever. And uh, yeah, we'll call it good. All right. Peace.